Divine Office Friday Morning Prayer Lord, open my lips, and and my my mouth mouth will proclaim proclaim your praise. Come, let us praise the Lord, in whom is all our delight. Come, let us praise the Lord, in whom is all our delight. Come, let us sing to the Lord, and shout with joy to the rock who saves us. Let us approach him with praise and thanksgiving, and sing joyful songs to the Lord. Come, let us praise the Lord, in whom is all our delight. The Lord is God, the mighty God, the great King over all the gods. He holds in his hands the depths of the earth, and the highest mountains as well. He made the sea, it belongs to him, the dry land too, for it was formed by his hands. Come, let us praise the Lord, in whom is all our delight. Come then, let us bow down and worship, Bending the knee before the Lord our Maker. For He is our God, and we are His people, the flock He shepherds. Come, let us praise the Lord, in whom is all our delight. Today listen to the voice of the Lord. Do not grow stubborn as your fathers did in the wilderness. When at Meribah and Massah they challenged me and provoked me, although they had seen all of my works. Come, let us praise the Lord, in whom is all our delight. Forty years I endured that generation. I said, they are a people whose hearts go astray, and they do not know my ways. So I swore in my anger, they shall not enter into my rest. Come, let us praise the Lord. In whom is all our delight? Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Come, let us praise the Lord. In whom is all our delight? O God, the lamp of heaven high, and source of light, your shining hand unrolls the sky, upholding it above the land, dawn casting up a crimson tide, has veiled the stars that saw its rise, the morning breezes far and wide, with dewy breath the The darkness from the sky has gone As nightly shadows pass away The morning star sign of the sun A rising wakes the sleepy day O God, O radiant 
once wonderful, most glorious day and fairest light, one God in all things powerful, three persons matchless in one might, to you our Savior brightest best. On bended knee our prayer we raise To Father and to Spirit blessed With all our power we offer praise Amen Create a clean heart in me, O God. Renew in me a steadfast spirit. Create Create a clean clean heart in me, O God. God. Renew Renew in me a steadfast steadfast spirit. Have mercy on me, God, in your kindness. In your compassion, blot out my offense. O wash me more and more from my guilt and cleanse me from my sin. My offenses, truly, I know them. My sin is always before me. Against you, you alone have I sinned. What is evil in your sight, I have done. That you may be justified when you give sentence, and be without reproach when you judge. O see, in guilt I was born. A sinner was I conceived. Indeed, you love truth in the heart. Then in the secret of my heart teach me wisdom. O purify me, then I shall be clean. O wash me, I shall be whiter than snow. Make me here rejoicing and gladness, that the bones you have crushed may revive. From my sins turn away your face, and blot out all my guilt. A pure heart create for me, O God. Put a steadfast spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence, nor deprive me of your Holy Spirit. Give me again the joy of your help. With a spirit of fervor sustain me, that I may teach transgressors your ways, and sinners may return to you. O rescue me, God, my helper, and my tongue shall ring out your goodness. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. For in sacrifice you take no delight. Burnt offering from me you would refuse. My sacrifice, a contrite spirit, A humbled, contrite heart you will not spurn. In your goodness show favor to Zion, rebuild the walls of Jerusalem. Then you will be pleased with lawful sacrifice, holocaust offered on your altar. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as As it it was was in in the the beginning, beginning, is is now. now. And and will be forever. Amen. Father, he who knew no sin was made sin for us, to save us and restore us to your friendship. Look upon our contrite heart and afflicted spirit, and heal our troubled conscience, so that in the joy and strength of the Holy Spirit we may proclaim your praise and glory before all the nations. Create Create a clean clean heart heart in me, O God. God. Renew Renew in me a steadfast spirit. spirit. Rejoice, Jerusalem, for through you all men will be gathered to the Lord. Rejoice, Rejoice, Jerusalem, Jerusalem, for through you all men will be gathered to the Lord. Let all men speak of the Lord's majesty and sing his praises in Jerusalem. O Jerusalem, holy city, he scourged you for the work of your hands. 
but will again pity the children of the righteous. Praise the Lord for his goodness, and bless the King of the ages, so that his tent may be rebuilt in you with joy. May he gladden within you all who were captives, all who were ravaged may he cherish within you for all generations to come. A bright light will shine to all parts of the earth. Many nations shall come to you from afar, and the inhabitants of all the limits of the earth, drawn to you by the name of the Lord God, bearing in their hands their gifts for the King of Heaven. Every generation shall give joyful praise in you, and shall call you the Chosen One, through all ages, forever. Go, then, rejoice over the children of the righteous, who shall all be gathered together and shall bless the Lord of the ages. Happy are those who love you, and happy those who rejoice in your prosperity. Happy are all the men who shall grieve over you, over all your chastisements. For they shall rejoice in you as they behold all your joy forever. My spirit blesses the Lord, the great King. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it, as it was, was in the, the beginning, beginning, is now, now and, and will, will be forever. forever. Amen. Rejoice, Rejoice Jerusalem, Jerusalem, for through you all men will be gathered to the Lord. Zion, praise your God, who sent his word to renew the earth. Zion, praise, praise your God, God, who sent his word to renew, renew the earth. earth. O oh, praise the Lord, Jerusalem. Zion, praise your God. He has strengthened the bars of your gates. He has blessed the children within you. He established peace on your borders. He feeds you with finest wheat. He sends out his word to the earth and swiftly runs his command. He showers down snow, white as wool, he scatters hoarfrost like ashes. He hurls down hailstones like crumbs. The waters are frozen at his touch. He sends forth his word and it melts them. At the breath of his mouth the waters flow. He makes his word known to Jacob, to Israel his laws and decrees. He has not dealt thus with other nations, he has not taught them his decrees. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As, as it, it was, was in the beginning, beginning is now, now and, and will be, be forever. forever. Amen. O powerful God, it is through your Church, generously endowed with gifts of grace and fortified by the Holy Spirit, that you send out your word to all nations. Strengthen your church with the best of all food, and make it dauntless in faith. Multiply its children to celebrate with one accord the mysteries of your love at the altar on high. Zion, Zion praise, praise your, your God, God, who sent, who sent his, his word to renew, to renew the, the earth. earth. A reading from the letter to the Galatians. I have been crucified with Christ, and the life I live now is not my own. Christ is living in me. I still live my human life, but it, it is a life of faith in the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me. The Word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. The Lord Most High has done good things for me. In need I shall cry out to him. 
The Lord, the Most High, has done good things for me. In need I shall cry out to him. May he send his strength to rescue me. In need I shall cry out to him. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The Lord, the Most High, has done good things for me. In need I shall cry out to him. Through the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Amen. Through the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us. We trust in God's concern for every person He has created and redeemed through His Son. Let us, therefore, renew our prayer to Him. Fulfill the good work You have begun in us, Lord. Fulfill the good work You have begun in us, Lord. O God of mercy, guide us towards spiritual growth. Fill our minds with thoughts of truth, justice, and love. Fulfill Fulfill the the good good work you have have begun begun in us, Lord. For your name's sake, do not abandon us forever. And do not annul your covenant. Fulfill Fulfill the the good good work you have have begun begun in us, Lord. Accept us, for our hearts are humble and our spirits contrite. And those who trust in you shall not be put to shame. Fulfill Fulfill the the good good work you have have begun begun in us, Lord. You have called us to a prophetic vocation in Christ. Help us proclaim your mighty deeds. Fulfill Fulfill the good good work you have have begun begun in us, Lord. And now let us pray as the Lord told us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give Give us this day our daily bread, and and forgive us our trespasses, as as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, fill our hearts with your love as morning fills the sky. By living your law, may we have your peace in this life and endless joy in the life to come. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. May the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen.